What's up everybody, welcome back. So I am uh, out exploring on my bike, just kind of clearing my head, you know, this is like therapy for me, man. This is, it's kind of like doing drugs or something where it just gives you a different perspective on everything. Especially since you're mostly focused on uh, what you're doing, you know? And it lets my, uh, lets my ADD run rampant. <laughs> so I've been thinking about, uh, and I, I, I read a really good comment on my uh, channel. I don't have it right in front of me, unfortunately. Uh, really good comment on one of my videos last night. And I've been thinking about balance. And uh, that's kind of the phase where I'm at in my life right now, is trying to structure and create balance in all these different areas of my life. And uh, it's tricky. It's really tricky. And I kind of thought of... Uh, uh, maybe I heard this. I probably heard this somewhere and I'm stealing it from whoever I heard it from But I don't remember uh, Who that would be or if I even heard it before anyway, it's kind of like eating chocolate cake like if all you eat is chocolate cake Like you're gonna you're gonna learn to hate it and you're gonna get sick like it's it's eventually not gonna be Good for you, and I kind of went through that with uh, buying stuff you know, I did the van thing, which is very anti-consumer. It's very focused on uh, freedom versus comfort and experience versus material things. And uh, that's great, but that was too much of that for me. So I, I wanted more comfort and more stability and uh, yeah, more of that and less of a good thing, which is just constantly traveling and constantly being out of your comfort zone and uh, you know, so that turned into chocolate cake for me. So I went the other way and, you know, went and got a, a normal job and got a place. You know, we bought the travel trailer, but we're in an RV park paying rent and we're going to be there for some time. And, uh, you know, I had a little extra money now. So I started buying stuff that, uh, you know, to make up for all the stuff I wanted to turn there. To make up for all the stuff I, uh, hold on, I want to make sure there's not a car coming. This is highly illegal, highly. So uh, yeah, I started buying stuff. Bought a bunch of guitars. I had like six guitars at one time or something like that, something stupid. And uh, eventually kind of just woke up one day and realized, you know what? Having six guitars doesn't make me any happier than having one. And I kind of convinced myself that, oh yeah, well I need this one to make this sound and that one to make that sound and this one to do that. And I like this one because it, it does this. I don't need that many guitars, man. So I've been selling them, and uh, now I just have one electric, one acoustic, and one, no, I do have two electrics. One of them I'm in the process of selling. And look at that house, that is so magnificent. What an amazing house. It's like a creepy old barn or something. So cool. Um, anyway, so yeah, I, I, all I need is one. I don't need too much of a good thing. It's okay to have, uh, you know, cake as dessert once a week or once a month, or even once a year. I don't need to have it every day and gorge myself to the point of toxicity. And by toxicity, I mean I'm spending all my money on stupid shit when I have debt I need to pay off. I'm, I'm basically, you know, being, I'm trying to think of a less uh, aggressive word here. I'm basically being penetrated <laughs> unwillfully, or willfully, I signed a, a sheet of paper that said please, Please, uh, you know, do me or whatever. I'm trying to be uh, YouTube safe here. Um, you know, to the banks, I'm just getting screwed with the interest. Like, why am I? Why am I screwing myself like this? This is retarded. I'm. It's absolutely ridiculous. So, that's that's how that turned toxic. I was just buying things because I thought they'd make me happy. And the funny thing is, you know, there was this one base that I got my most expensive one. I just sold, by the way, and I actually made money on. Um, I wanted this bass since I was a kid. My favorite bass player ever played one, and I wanted one, and it was amazing. And I had it for a couple years, and uh, I don't know, every six months maybe I pulled it out, played it for 10 minutes, and put it back in its case, and that's where it sat. And I was, I was looking at the case, oh, look at that big horse. I was looking at the case, wow, look at that house up there. That thing is cool. What a weird shape. That's awesome, man. Um, oh no, dude, I hope someone didn't fly through that windshield. Did you see that car? The windshield all busted out? That was gnarly. 
I was looking at the case for this thing. Oh, look, billy goats. And, uh, you don't want to pass? All right. I was looking at the case for this thing, and I was like, man, why, why is this thing just sitting here when I have these debts to pay and stuff? I should be paying those off. Like, there's, this is, this is so dumb. You know, so I sold it and I kind of regret it. I mean, I, I love that base and I miss it, but it brought me, it brought me happiness for, you know, 10 minutes every six months, you know? Like what's, what's the point? It was stupid. So I let it go. And I'm finding little areas like that all over the place of my life. I'm, I'm overindulging to the point of toxicity. And then I'm completely going the opposite direction and doing the same thing. That's like, that's what I've been doing. And, and this is this, you know, going from van life to over consumerism is, you know, a great example, but I've been doing it in smaller ways all over the place in my life. Like, oh, look at this doggy. He wants to bite me. And, uh, oh, that's a cool house. Hold on, this is dangerous. What do we got going on here? So my, uh, mission right now is to identify and eliminate those scenarios from my life and balance everything out balance it out and that's really the biggest thing I've been uh, searching for is a sense of stability and balance mentally I guess because the, the van thing I was always stressed out because I was overstimulated 24 7 and I didn't have a place where I could go where I knew I'd 100% be safe and just relax. I, I didn't have that for a long time, so it's kind of frazzled all the time. And uh, now I have too much of that. Now I don't have enough adventure and enough newness. I'm just kind of, you know, I, I got a two week, I'm on a two week vac vacation right now, which is really nice, but I've had too much structure. I, I, I wake up, I get ready to go to work, I go to work, I come home, I'll watch some videos, learn some stuff, you know, play guitar a little bit, go to sleep, do that all week long, all weekend long, you know, Saturdays we do laundry, Sundays we go grocery shopping and feed the snakes, and uh, it, my life is so predictable, you know, sometimes on the weekend I go for a motorcycle ride, but my life has become so predictable that I feel like I'm dying inside, and uh, I can't stand it, and my urge is to go exactly the opposite direction again, but that doesn't work, man. You have to balance stuff out. So that's the uh, that's that's the goal, and I'm not exactly sure how to accomplish that, but I'll figure it out. And uh, yeah, once you know what the problem is, it's a lot easier to solve than if you don't even know what the problem is. That is a cool house. There is some awesome architecture up here. No wonder the the average price is like. $500,000. There's some awesome architecture up here. All right, I need to figure, I'm trying to see what this guy's doing down here. Yeah, we'll go left. Do you ever wish that you had like a pause button where you could pause? everybody and just like go around and go into buildings like those houses back there just see what they're like and uh go as fast as you want on the highway and you know like get into helicopters and fly helicopters and stuff that'd be pretty rad and then just press the button and unpause it and everything goes back to normal that'd be sick huh oh i'm going back into civilization that's not what I want I want country roads so yeah I got this uh, this heated jacket I'm wearing right now which is really nice it's a uh, hot wires brand I had been taking the car to work but it's kind of falling apart you know it's 2002 it's got 220,000 miles on it lots of twos and zeros huh and uh, it's starting to fall apart it's having some issues it's got some kind of weird sound coming from the engine I'm not sure if it's the turbo. This guy's having fun on his quad. I'm not sure if it's the turbo or if it's a pulley or something. And the uh, 
front control arm bushings are going out so that you can feel the front end moving around as you brake and accelerate and go around corners and stuff. Not safe. Um, it's got a vacuum leak and some other stuff. It's just kind of starting to fall up. The seats are falling apart. And uh, it's time, I think, to just save that for when we really need a car. And for going to work, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. For going to, to work, I'm gonna just take the bike. It's getting really cold at night. It's uh, 60 right now at 4.11 in the afternoon. At night, it's been getting down into the 30s, low 30s, uh, sometimes below freezing. Uh, I, I get home at about 1 a.m. and it's usually low 40s, upper 30s. But I think with the, uh, with the gear I have now, I'm gonna be okay, so. Hopefully that's the case. Uh, there's no windshield or big fairings or anything on this bike to protect from the wind. That's kind of a thing. I figure if I, uh, the next step, if I really need to, is to get a, uh, what goes on here? What are all these things? Oh, horse jumps. Any cars behind me? No. I got a bunch of horses out there. That's cool. Yeah, the next thing, and I don't, I don't want to do it if I don't absolutely have to because they look kind of weird on this bike, get a windshield. And I bought a uh, take back thing so I can wear my backpack and have a bag right here to store stuff. Um, and if I had that, I could lay down on the tank like this. And if I had a windshield, it would go right up over my head and uh, wouldn't be wouldn't be too bad. What's down here? This is houses? You know what? I'm gonna go down here. I'm not making too much noise or being too rowdy. I wanna see what's down here. Oh, there's an airport. Wow, they burned this field, I think. I don't know, it looks dark. Anyway, guys, uh, let's, let's see what else is down here before I end the video. Just in case there's something cool. There's all these cool little planes, man. See, if we could pause the world, I could hop in one of those planes, go for a ride, go watch some YouTube videos, learn how to, uh, learn how to fly a plane. Oh, there's the Cal Fire planes. Those are the guys that drop, uh, I think, these are the guys that dropped the fire retardant on fires. Yeah, we got Cal Fire right here. Nice, I love these guys, man. Big old Coast Guard helicopter. That's cool. This is the end of the road, and this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Love yourself.